So my pretties, let me talk to y'all about something um that came up in the last read. So there's a situation here, and I know a lot of you guys go through this where um there's someone who is trying to harvest your energy by well steal your energy by basically having sexual contact with you in the astral realm so if you've been having sexual dreams so on and so forth um you know you could attribute that to this spell work that someone is using for those of you who are familiar with my readings um you know that we speak about a group called the womb raiders which is basically the gist of it is that these these men okay they get together and they plan and plot they're in some sort of coven or cult or group spiritual group whatever gang even okay that has spiritual ties it could be a gang gang you know like brats or whatever um who basically are in a they have a covenant to steal the energy of the feminine okay so I coined them the womb raiders. Mind you, you guys, there are many groups that are like this, okay? Um, this is not the only group. There are many groups that are like this and practice this type of spirituality. A lot of the times, they will use serpent spirits and or marine spirits and succubus, incubus energies to do so. So if you're having dreams, you know, and it could be coming to you in a form of what you feel like is beautiful, okay? I don't know if you ever see, if you guys have ever seen Sabrina the Teenage Witch, but there is a... Um, it's a series on Netflix, but there is a succubus energy um, there. She's a character. I forgot her name or whatever. But um, she can read minds as well, okay? If you're having sleep paralysis, a lot of, you know, it could be it could be this as well. Sleep paralysis, but it will come with um, sexual feelings, okay? Um, so anyway, what I'm going to do is give you the rundown of what I have found out. Now, first of all, there is with this friendship and birth energy. I'm gonna try to get the put the camera up on it so you guys can see better. Okay. With this friendship and birth energy, this is a group of individuals, like I said, who got together to monetize um feminine energy, the womb. All right. If you guys have been having trouble, I just heard constipation, okay. Um you know, also urine retention, stuff like that. You guys know, all who know what I'm talking about, you know, if you're going through this, okay? Um, I, I just heard confusion and headaches, um, dehydration as well. It's like kind of like sucking the energy out of you. You know, if you feel depleted and stuff like that, yeah, that's what's going on here. All right, my phone about to do this the whole time. Let me turn it off real quick. All right. So these people are doing spell work. One of them are connected to you in some sort of way, okay? Especially if you had sex with this person, they could have left some sort of parasitic energy on you, okay? So, um, you know, you are, you have a guardian angel that's helping you with this, with this, uh, with this okay so we have guard goddess of dreams vision intuition and receptivity so basically i feel like you've even you this person's mask could have fallen off in your dreams or something like that you could have actually saw who it was like for example um a person could be coming to you as someone who you really love like chris brown you know chris brown you know <laughs> like it's your man on the flow if he ain't let me know you could be turned on by that you know what i'm saying but um in another dream you know you could have actually saw this person shape shift and, and go into you know their face their mask could have been exposed for exactly who they are so i feel like this was led by one of your spirit gods so you could ex know what was going on i'm hearing to use cascaria so for for a lot of you guys <clears throat> You know, you might want to use cascaria on your womb before you go to sleep. Someone also said camphor oil in one of the live streams that I did. Camphor oil and cascaria rubbed on your stomach every night before bed. Um, you might even want to... I don't know. Okay. I don't know. Um, I, I do certain things, but I don't know if it's for everybody. Um, I'm going to be giving suggestions about this. 
also my devil dick wash okay it's going to help with the situation the cord cutting bath the devil dick wash is for this situation specifically but the cord cutting bath and also the pretty oral wash and the balm those baths would definitely help you okay on the pretty oracle.com with these situations now i feel like now let's go into this to, to these people okay i feel like these people are they sit around a lot of them are alcoholics i feel like they do drugs okay but some of you guys these people could be involved in like ayahuasca ceremonies or ceremonies that involve smoking things to you to you pass out okay or to you see things psychedelics whatever okay i feel like they were um inquiring okay always looking into getting readings for and about this empress energy okay i feel like they wanted to put this empress energy in a sunken place literally wanted to um body snatch this empress right um make her make her docile in some sort of way so that they are able to, this feels like also, you know, like using mind control, allowing them to over, overtake your energy, okay? So some of you guys, you may have felt like you needed to overly masturbate is something that I'm hearing as well. You could be feeling overly sexual or your libido could be um, null and void, okay? Either or. I feel like you guys, this may be past energy for you guys. You guys may have recently been liberated from this. And this reading is just a confirmation because there's liberation here. Okay. If there hasn't been, there will be. There's liberation here from this uh, particular thing. I feel like these people may have been trying to dream walk you. The person that's involved in this, that's connected to you, may you may see them in your dreams a lot. Okay. Um, you may feel uh, feelings. I mean, see visions of yourself being chased. Okay, yeah, with this beneath the surface and hidden truth, I'm telling you, you figured this out. You figured out that this person was attacking you. For a lot of you guys, you may want to look into Yoni's themes. If you have had physical sexual contact with this person, definitely. But um, it's also going to work if you've never had it. Okay, that's good for your womb as well. Um, Yoni pearls may help you also with this situation. Do your research, you guys. I'm just giving... Um, the advice okay definitely cord cutting and cord cutting mantras listening to the to cord cutting mantras while you sleep there's also something here that's going to help you clearing your chakras okay because with this energy right here it makes me feel like they have you you know corded your chakras corded especially your sacral and your um solar plexus and your crown definitely and also your third eye okay so clear your chakras i've, I've spoken to y'all about how to do that before if you're not sure, you can send me an email and I'll just give you a simple way to do so, okay? But definitely listening to chakra clearing music as you're sleeping as well could help. So I feel like whoever has been doing this, they're going to be illuminated. This is going to be illuminated. Like I said, I feel like you already know. I feel like there's the energy of the scales being balanced is going to come through. Somebody got cherry blossoms tattooed on them, okay? Look at this divine presence, the force of love and creation. There's going to be a divine... Spirit is going to shine a, shine a light on them. Mm, mm, mm. Shine, a, shine a light on this entanglement and emotional influence um, that this person has had over you. I feel like you're going to feel as though a veil was lifted from over your eyes. I feel like a restored health. I feel like you're going to see, see things better. <clears throat> the way that some of you guys might not even know that you're going through this. Um, but the way that you're going to be able to tell is once the veil has been lifted and the sun has started shining again, I feel like you're, you're going to say, wow, like I don't feel that dense energy anymore. I don't feel the energy to overeat, over smoke, over indulge, over worry, over sex, under sex, whatever. You know what I mean? There's going to be destruction that comes on upon this father. Now, listen, we have the energy of mother here and then we have the energy of father. I'm going to tell you right now that, um, this may be your baby's father or this may be your husband or this may be a uh, male energy, okay, or a romantic interest, whatever, that you have been dealing with. <clears throat> there's going to be, um, there's a warrior energy here that is going to make sure that destruction is being brought. Wow. Okay, so they're saying that this person, um, this person that's in this group, okay, Coven, whatever, cult, spiritual group, whatever that has a deal with Steve and him downstairs. The one of your ancestors, this is a this is a male energy, it feel like say <clears throat> it also could be a lesbian, okay? 
a butch lesbian, like a lesbian that um uh, is masculine is what I'm feeling for. for listen, okay, for somebody, you're going to know exactly who I'm talking about. That message is for one person. This may be your aunt and she may be um butch or a stud. Or it can be your uncle and he's feminine, all right? You know exactly who I'm who I'm I'm talking about. That was for somebody specific, but um this person is basically saying, I'm gonna make them a believer of God when I'm done. They say I'm gonna make them get their Bible, okay? I'm gonna make the Stevenism, somebody in that Stevenism cult, okay, get their Bibles. By the time I'm done, they're gonna be hugging the Bible, is what your ancestors saying, child. This could be your father even that's saying this. Somebody's name is Princess. This ancestor says, I love you so much. Wow. Somebody's name is Lily. There's some, some name that has to do with a flower. There's a, there's a male energy here saying, remember the coins, remember the coins, the change that I gave you, there's something here with money coins or something like that. They saying, remember, they're bringing, um, asking, bringing remembrance to it. Somebody there's something about a waterfall or a landmark, a landmark, a, a statue that, um, <laughs> yo, <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. There's something here about a statue or a landmark, a water fountain or some shit like that that they want to bring your attention to. There's star tattoos here. We have the energy of someone who may have worked on cars, a mechanic or something like that. Some red Kool-Aid, something about red Kool-Aid. Somebody was saying that they was trying to only bring home the bacon to you, okay? They were only trying to bring you home the bacon. They only was doing what they was doing to feed you. Somebody name is Mimi. There was joy here um, in, in one of these ancestors. Um, we have Virgo and then we also have... Uh, Aries but there's joy here in one of these ancestors you know what they're saying and watching you play you could have had a brother or a sister a little brother or a sister or a cousin or something like that I don't know but they liked to watch you guys play or watch you play okay it was joy in that that's one of the things that bring them joy jokes laughter playing imagination somebody may have gotten um shot in their in their head I, I don't there may have been another person that may have been strangled all right i'm gonna get out of that energy you guys okay um i just heard headshot no warning and i don't, and i feel like that was that's something that may be directed towards your enemies okay so this ancestor is saying by the time i'm done with this this sucker <laughs> they're gonna be hugging the bible okay you're going to receive a message you're going to receive a message okay it may come to your home this could be a letter okay this could be something that you see on the internet okay Th this is going to be something about some sort of work that you did prayers your ancestors whatever manifesting okay yeah okay um and they're saying, I'm going to tame that beast. You're going to get a message about it. You're going to hear about this power. It's going to happen. Like I said, with the three of swords. Like I said, I'm going to tame this beast. And I'm going to give you your wishes. Okay. I'm going to give you, you're going to walk into your blessings afterwards. So child, somebody, their ancestors ain't playing. That's it. One of your blessings is going to be that you meet a, a an amazing soulmate, okay? Somebody who shares your heart is what I just heard. I don't know. Okay, this is going to come in like boom. I just heard boom, clap, sound of my heart, and the beat goes on and on and on and on now. Boom. Come on to me. Come on to me. Now, that song is annoying. 
to me anyway. Your justice is love, baby. Your justice is love. Your justice is a way better love or offer than whatever this person was could or could, could give you, okay? It is. Uh, I just heard real love purify. Use your heart and not your eyes. You got time and I got time. Yo, let me tell you something. There's rituals done in, in uh, child. Listen, your ancestors is not playing with this person. Okay? Um, they're not. That's all I'm gonna say about that. Now let's get back to this person that we're speaking about. So they're saying that this person, it could be a king of wands or a Scorpio, okay? Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or a Scorpio. We even have Pisces energy here, okay? This person has connected themselves with the undead, okay? Some sort of negative entity. This negative entity lives inside of them. They're saying that they have given up their essence, okay? Sold their soul, given up their essence for another um, low vibrational being uh, of the moon, kind of like with moon moon energy to inhabit them okay their their chakras are all hooked up to whatever entity that is and that's how they move they're being controlled by that entity for those of you that need to know that okay um maybe this will help you understand you know that this person is under extreme manipulation okay once they took this deal uh with with Stephen him downstairs that was it okay they allowed themselves to be a vessel for negativity and a negative entity to live breathe move and through them okay they are a vessel for the negativity this person with this five of pentacles cannot access themselves you guys okay they just can't they just can't they not making the decisions right now this person doesn't get any sleep i feel like they're always uh lacing up their boots to do some negative shit constantly um definitely a lot of rituals being done okay show us what we can do about these this spell work with astral with this astral travel how can we protect ourselves you guys definitely clearing of the chakras definitely getting this invisible candle that works you know um to help stop that astral project projections type energy okay you guys could light it only when you're sleeping and then when you wake up snuff it out do not uh blow it out okay you can find that on the pretty oracle.com clearing your chakras will help getting that spray that aerosol spray that i have um on my website it could go away evil or protection either one spraying that on your walls after you um use my floor wash or any floor wash okay these are just suggestions mop, mop your floors with the floor wash then spray your walls sage okay all of that a lot of airborne things okay you can use a diffuser a lot of airborne things to help you out with that astral travel type energy okay um i might leave the comments open on this on this video for you guys who um who can help others okay um that are a part of this community with defending themselves against this type of attack okay um, I'm going to use my deck, the self-divination oracle deck. Like I tell y'all all the time, you don't have to be a reader for this. What can help us, please, spirit? Um, you don't have to be a reader to use this. This is literally going to help you with spiritual things, your spiritual happenings. Cleanse your children and pets, you guys. Make sure that you um, are uh, cleansing them as well, not just yourself, okay? Cleanse your children and your pets. Pray for hidden enemies in your environment to be revealed, Okay, so some of you guys could still have this person around you or someone connected to this person around you. Listen to and recite mantras. I had told you guys that listening to the cord cutting mantra while you sleep definitely helps with those astral attacks and astral projection and dream walking and shit like that. Okay, you can use you can listen to singing bowls as well and the clearing of the chakras um, type singing bowls is what I'm saying. Okay spiritually cleanse your home i told you guys that's that's how most things um manifest okay they like try to cord your home and shit like that and that's how they're able to go connect back with it especially if you're experiencing something like we saw in the last read which is someone leaving some type of cursed item in your home you could light a peace in the home candle there's a candle called peace in the home and light to bring the energy of peace in your home i believe it's blue and they have a white one so you could get a blue or a white candle okay write the words peace in the home dress it with some sort of peace oil clearance oil whatever oil olive oil whatever you want to do okay set your intentions pray about it every day and go ahead and light that candle 
handle, okay? This is how this deck helps you. You do not have to be a reader, but you just, you know, intuitively understand, like, okay, it's very straightforward. This is what you need to do. This is what can help you. Okay, you might want to light a Buddha candle for peace, good luck, and prosperity. I feel like when these entities in invading your space, you know, they're leaving behind a nasty ass, you know, funk, okay, of negative energy. I don't know if you guys ever seen a succubus incubus energy before, but them shits is ugly. I told y'all that this is the ugliest shit I've ever seen. I've ever, ever, ever seen before, okay? In my Johnny Gill voice, shit. And they, and they, their energy is disgusting. It's very dense, very low vibrational, over sexual. As ugly, if you ever seen them as ugly as they are, you know they leave behind a stench. They got, like, they look like they got like black soot all over them as well. Like what the fuck? It's ugly. Okay, Sanda Shastador will help you destroy evil and have power over enemies because this person may be using some sort of dominating energy over you and your and, and your energy. Okay, so focus, clarity, and cleansing. You will want to work with St. Clair. She's beautiful um, to help out with those things. She's been coming up a whole lot like for the past two weeks for people to work with. Um, she likes flowers whatever do your research you can use jesus salute as well work with jesus salute so it's 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 um this is the name of the candle jesus salute and you light for restoration of health you know jesus reigns supreme over demons okay so that's definitely to help you for those of you who are um really serious about your fight i would take three of these things three of these things um and work with them, okay? And just start to see how three of these advi advice that I've given you and work with them, you know, daily or every other day and see how your situation changes, okay? I just wanted to help with this, you guys. I hope, that, I hope it did.